Telematics and vehicle tracking are changing the future of car insurance premiums and also driver behaviour. Locally, short-term insurer, that's Discovery Insure, is leading the pack by fitting telematics devices to their clients' cars. But joining me now to explain how this works is Brendan Horan, the MD of Mix Telematics Africa. Brendan, thanks for your time. First, Thank tell you. us exactly what is telematics? How does it work? So I think simply, and I think for South Africans, you know, we've had a vehicle tracking industry around for a long time. Um, if we sort of start there and really talk about information being transmitted from one machine to another, so be it a vehicle to some kind of management system or some kind of back end where you can understand the nature and the behavior of what's going on in that device. So yeah. not just finding stolen vehicles, but actually taking information and understanding deeply as to what that information means in the context of a driver or a vehicle. How have you been able to grow it up to this point? I mean, you're sitting there using information and making it to be something usable uh, to the industry. How have you been able to make so this So we, we were quite lucky. We, uh, we pioneered driver behavior and driver performance in the commercial market many years ago. Um, before the advent of cellular communication data, we used passive devices to work out how drivers drove commercial vehicles. And I think then over the years, sort of, we've taken our stolen vehicle recovery business and transformed our consumer business mm. into, a, into a business that is able to gain more data around the customer. And now with the advent of big data, quicker processing, and a better understanding about what drivers are and how they're behaving, we're able to sort of couple some of the old learnings with new things and, and understand the driver better. Hmm. How, uh, how has the uptake been from a commercial perspective with uh, guys like Discovery Insure? I gave that example in the introduction. What's been the uptake like? So I think the Discovery Insure um, scheme sort of leads the way in South Africa in terms of their understanding of drivers. Um, they launched a, a smartphone application. They've had, a, they've had a program going for some time, and I'm sure they've, they've been gathering certainly a lot of data and really starting to understand their customer in their sort of whole drive towards behavioral change. Mm -hmm. They aren't the only ones. Other insurers have been, and certainly now that Discovery have maybe led the way, they are looking at it very seriously. Um, and everyone is sort of in the background trying to work out their sort of secret source or their analysis to try and assist in obviously managing their premiums and mm -hmm. be able to add some value to their customer. Yeah, so this is a value add. That's what the insurers get out of this. I think from an insurance perspective, I mean, a lot of people have the perception, so we're going to have lower premiums. And I think lower premiums can certainly be a byproduct. But it's also with the amount of accidents on our roads, uh, I think, uh, which, which is, I won't say it's epidemic, but it's very high. I think it's a, there's almost a social aspect to this as well where better driving and safer driving and sort of consciously changing behaviour is critical. I, I think it's a, it helps to make the insurance companies more sustainable as it allows them to be, deliver better products and services to their customers and makes our roads safer, which I think is a, is a really critical thing that people need to take a note of. Are people catching on to this? I think I can understand from an insurer's perspective, lowest premiums. Uh, as an individual, are people quite keen to have this device installed in their car? Do they understand what they're getting when you put it in? I think initially, certainly this is, you know, it, it is picking up momentum. And maybe at the start there was less, um, there was a bit more skepticism. But I think as we use tools like Twitter, Facebook, and as maybe people become um, less concerned about their privacy, certainly the, less, the, the generations that are sort of embracing this sort of connectedness. Mm. I think the barriers are coming down and people are less worried about it. The reality is, is the intention is to create safer roads, safer drivers, and to improve the situation. It's not to try and catch people out. And I think um, maybe people worry about repudiation as being, uh, um, as being the, sort of the negative, but I don't think that's really the objective. The objective is to drive down accidents, drive down accident claims, and try and create a better environment in a, 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 for, for both the insurer and the consumer. Uh, Brendan, you are the MD of Mix Telematics Africa. We've been talking about this in the South African context. If we look on the African continent, are you able to just to give us a sense of what the uptake has been like? Is this something that is also uh, starting to be used across uh, the continent? I think um, the uptake still is very small and very slow, if any. Uh, I think South Africa certainly being quite a large telematics install base uh, in re relative to the globe is really has the ability to pioneer the way because there's quite a large install base in both commercial vehicles and consumer vehicles. I think what we are seeing, certainly in the commercial space on the continent, people do correlate driver behavior to safety. Mm -hmm. um, certainly in the oil and gas environment where we play quite heavily, um, those conscious sort of efforts in terms of driving down accidents, making sure that drivers drive safely, that, that, there's a strong momentum of that in that market. Mm. Consumer explosion, not yet. Um, I think we'll see it certainly as the OEMs drive telemetry into their vehicles and as maybe some of the insurers start to grow their offerings in Africa. I think some of those are still certainly what we see in the West and the East 
the evolution compared to, let's say, our South African insurers, they're, they're slightly behind. Our South African insurers are actually quite progressive in terms of where we are. Discovery are probably a, a global thought leader in terms of, in, in terms of this kind of stuff. So, and coupled with, with some very strong telematics businesses, um, I th I, you know, we get solid momentum here, but I think we, we still have a way to go to see this in Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, just a final question from me. Uh, how do you keep your finger on the pulse and, and uh, keep up with trends? I mean, this is something where you have to be able to gather data, uh, like you said, knowing what uh, consumers are doing, what insurers are doing, how they can use this. Uh, what's been your secret to make sure that you're getting this right? I, I think um, certainly a lot of engagement everywhere. Mm. I think we, we, we make a point of, of understanding our, our environment globally. We travel globally. We have businesses all around the world, so we're constantly feeding in that, in that information. We sit on forums, we go to conferences, we engage with insurers, we engage with the OEMs. So, so I think you've got to try and package this ecosystem together and understand where it's going. But we do, we do expend a lot of time and energy and financial resources into innovation and development. And that is a constantly sort of moving target. You've got to try and innovate to stay ahead. Mm. And as this advent of big data and sort of understanding comes in, we're constantly trying to position ourselves in a better place innovation and research and development. Thank you so much, Brendan, for Thank coming you. in and telling us a bit more about telematics and how this plays a role in making better drivers uh, here, here in South Africa and the rest of the continent. That was Brendan Horan. He's the MD at Mix Telematics.